Welcome back to Two Brothers Comics. I'm Nick, and today we're going to be talking about more NFTs. I promise you guys, we're not turning into like this comic book NFT channel. Uh, it just is something new, and you know, depending on your point of view, exciting in the industry. And I've been getting so many requests, so many comments. What is the point of NFTs? How do you buy them? This, that, and another. Uh, and so I want to do a video about it uh, for you guys that maybe are interested and want to know a little bit about it and why I'm doing uh, the NFT stuff. But let's start off at the very beginning. What exactly is an NFT? Uh, an NFT is a non-fungible token. It is minted by a blockchain. Uh, and basically it is very similar to like how cryptocurrency and things like that are done. Think of it like a cryptocurrency type collectible uh, to put it very elementary. It's very, very interesting because we saw a big NFT boom earlier this year and late last year. Uh, and it's just, you know, kind of been something always intriguing, but something quite frankly, I never understood or cared to understand. And I thought it was kind of silly. Starting in the year of 2021, uh, I guess really around August or so, I think, if, I, if I'm you know, putting it correctly, VV uh, announces that they're going to be partnering with Marvel and doing uh, comic books. And I know previously they've done some statues with VV and DC's done some statue type collectibles with VV and I've never really cared about those. Uh, but what VV is and how you buy them is basically an app. You can get it on Android or iPhone. It's not available online unless you're uh, using the emulators. but it is basically this app and you can download it, you create an account and then to buy stuff, you load gems. And I recorded myself earlier this week buying the Ultimate Fallout 4 NFT and we'll talk about that. But essentially all it is, is a app with the store and they do drops. And what these drops are, are basically uh, a time during the day where they release these to the public to buy. Now, these drops are more like death matches because you either get one or you don't. There are a couple hundred thousand users apparently, uh, and you know a ton of people using bots and emulators and things like that. I know people in the some people in the comments are going to say it's not a, really a thing, but it's been confirmed. Vivi has even come out and said, "Well, well, where we're trying to work on it. And hopefully, they do." Um, but uh, people are always missing out. Like earlier this week, Thor 30, 337 came out, and I put up a, a short and a reel, and ten thousand of those minted issues sold out. I mean, in less than a split second. The second it hit one, I hit buy, gone. And that, you know, is what it is, right? No big deal. You can always go on and buy them onto a secondary market. But basically how you buy them is gonna be just like this on the screen, screen recording I'm gonna show you from earlier this week with the Ultimate Fallout 4. The first thing you have to do is you have to buy your gems, preload those into your system um, by doing like I'm showing on the screen. And then you go and you find the collectible. I generally just go to the feed, click on one of the images because that's just the quickest way. Scroll down a little bit and then I look for the countdown. And I generally get on there about a minute or so before. I set a couple of clocks and alarms uh, on my phone at like 9.58 to remind me. And then I wait and I just sit there. And once it gets close to the countdown, I have my thumb ready. As soon as it clicks by now, boom. Now. Uh, you, you're either lucky or you're not, depending on how close you are, how long your internet, how fast your internet is, that really depends on how you're gonna buy it, but that's how you buy it. And then you can always buy it on the secondary market, which you'll see on the screen recording again. And there are basically, you know, a couple different ways to do so. You can do it on auction or buy it now. Uh, lower minted seem to go for more money than, you know, the higher minted. And what that means is literally just where yours falls out into the uh, blockchain there. So say mine's, you know, number 10,000 out of 30,000. That's not going to sell for as much as maybe, you know, number two, right? I'm just throwing a random number out there. But then there are also different rarities. You have common, uncommon, rare, ultra rare, and then secret rare, I believe is how it is. And obviously the secret rare uh, is the most expensive and it's, you know, you have like a one in 50 chance or, you know, one in 10 chance or whatever to get, you know, different ones. And it changes per, um, comic or, or NFT, uh, depending on the amount there. Another thing people often bring up is what is the point? Why do you do it? Can you sell it? Can you, can you get your money back? Uh, and so to put that very point blank, why do it? I mean, really you, you do it just like any other collectible, I guess. I mean, I know it's not tangible. It's not, it's not in your hand. Uh, and I'm not doing it because like, I have to have this. I'm doing it more so like, what if one day this is extraordinarily valuable? Uh, like a Bitcoin situation. I know I mentioned in one of my previous videos, Amazing Fantasy 15, what if it's that moment we're in right now and you didn't pick it up because you thought it was gonna be silly and 15 cents could have turned into uh, a little over 3 million if you kept it in decent shape. 
I think a better comparison might be Bitcoin, where it was selling for 10 cents in what, like 2008? Everybody said it was stupid, silly, whatever. Earlier this year, you know, they were upwards of $60,000 per coin. What if we we're in that moment and we are seeing some pretty big sales, you know, a couple thousand dollars, tens of thousands of dollars for some of these statues uh, for NFTs? Or the big thing Dustin always asks is, can you actually take your money back out of it? And the best response to that right now is no. At this point, you cannot actually exchange your gems right there, their currency inside the app to get money back out. Now they are working apparently, and, and don't hold me to this, I'm just telling you what I know, they are working to turn it into ability to take the gems into a cryptocurrency and then sell that out for cash. Uh, I'm hoping that's done pretty soon, right? I'm just buying them and letting my stuff sit. Um, but at the core of it, no, you cannot just outright take your gems or take your comics, sell it, take the gems you get back, and then cash those out for real tangible cash uh, or anything like that. But the, the interesting thing about that is, yes, I know it sounds weird, but people are still putting their actual money into buying the gems, into paying you know tens of thousands of dollars for these NFTs. So there's definitely some cash there. I'm just waiting on that conversion. And at the end of the day, say something happens and this ends up being the world's biggest Ponzi scheme. Well, I'm out what maybe i have six or seven of these i've spent 6.99 a piece you know i'm out less than 100 bucks on a chance um i'm willing to gamble less than 100 dollars on maybe one day uh that ultimate fallout 4 may be able to get me a couple thousand dollars i did the same thing with dogecoin earlier this year uh, when it was like six cents i put in like 150 bucks and at one point it was upwards of 1900 dollars uh off of a hundred and some odd change investment and right now I'm still sitting, you know, a good $600 positive on that. So I'm okay with taking that risk. You have to decide for yourself, is it worth it? Um, but you can actually read the comics. I know it's kind of a PDF type deal. They do have a virtual reality uh, type comic uh, that I think is a bit silly, but I'll show it on the screen here what that looks like. But at the end of the day, you have to decide for yourself you know, if you're gonna buy it, is it worth the risk? Uh, you're $6.99. Um, right now, it's super difficult to even buy these things. You have to be super lucky to get it on the drop. And the point of it, you know, just to have a virtual collectible, I guess. Um, now, technically, you could sell these in Facebook Marketplace or uh, I don't think eBay would work, but something like that. So say if I knew somebody looking for a Fantastic Four uh, Uncommon or whatever and I have it, he could just pay me and then I could transfer it to him in the app. And you could do it that way, but it, it's very interesting. Um, it can seem very silly. I know that. I still sometimes wonder why I'm spending the $6.99, but I'm that guy that's always the early adopter, the what if, right? What if this is that moment? And unfortunately, I wasn't that guy uh, in 2008 when Bitcoin was around, or else I probably would have been that, you know, I, I, I would have bought a bunch. But NFTs, who knows? Maybe it is, maybe maybe it's a long-term game. Maybe this is just a quick hype moment. Uh, I do not want to be that guy that's hyping it up. I'm just, I, I'm kind of having fun with the collectible and thought I'd do a video about it. And I, you know, done some videos about it. I hope you guys like the little shorts, but for everybody asking how you buy them, you know, it's, it's all on the app. And right now that's the biggest thing. DC Fandom did release some stuff for their NFT and what the point of that is. I don't know yet. Nobody knows yet. Right now, they're just there. So we'll see what happens this weekend. But let me know what you think. Is this whole NFT craze just stupid to you? Is it very interesting? Is it not? Um, it's intriguing. And like I said, I just don't want to be the guy that misses the boat because I wasn't willing to risk six ninety six ninety nine uh, on some of these things and other people. You know that may not be your comfort level and that's fine too so don't forget to like subscribe share it out it does help out quite a bit don't forget to let me know down in the comments what it is you think about this whole nft craze again i, I know it can part of me thinks it's silly and stupid the other part of me thinks maybe this is the moment that's the part of me that's hoping one day it might might be worth something you know who knows who knows guys you're the best part of tuberlex comics and as always this is important collect your way